Hello there. Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Asun Good Valhalla video. So, good news, we are getting a new update pretty soon, but before that, let's take a look of Reda selection. Here we go, on the daily, we are having the Imperial Tree for 35 Opals sediment decoration looking like this. If you really need this, you have only 24 hours. For rest of the items that I'm going to show, you have one week in order to buy them. So, the second item, first on the list, Knights of the Round Table Shields for Longship. I mean, pretty okay looking. So many swords and the Celtic Cross. Our second item, Charlemagne's Hood, 120 Opals from the Charlemagne's pack. I mean, it's a little bit different. The perks, add some of your armor to your stun when equipped, add it, plus 15%. And the whole set bonus, additional increase to armor when equipped, plus 15 armor. You have one week to decide, are you gonna buy this or not? Let me know in the comments what you are getting from Rera this week. Our third item, Drogo Sale, 35 opals for your longship as well. I mean, this is actually pretty cool. Black, green, skull, cannot go wrong. Our fourth item, Twilight Pants from the Twilight Pack. I will leave full breakdown of the Twilight armor set in the pinned comment and in the description box. I mean, this armor set, it is actually pretty OP. Also, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave video link in the pinned comment and also in the description box for the last item from this week. But let's move on to the Frozen Tomb Hall for Longship 35 Opals as well. Pretty okay looking, like frozen wood, ice on the hall. Pretty nice. Last and not least, in my opinion, this is the highlight of the week. Blood Elf, I wrap the solar version, 120 opals. And when you are buying something from Reda, buy the item. After that, wait until you are seeing the check mark and the pop-up on the top of the right screen. If you don't, it might take a while before you are seeing the item in your inventory. I'm going to demonstrate what I mean in a few seconds. But yeah, this is the highlight in my opinion. Instant buy for me. The perks, the 2 set bonus, increase heavy damage when equipped, plus 10, and the full set bonus, when you are using 200 weapons, and only 200 weapons, you are getting some speed, and the bonus is removed when receiving damage, additional increase to speed when near fire, cooldown 20 seconds, and plus 15 speed, near fire bonus, plus 5 to speed. At the moment, that is the only thing I'm going to buy, I will keep you updated with the daily posts, what Reda has every day, so keep your eyes on the channel. But let's move on. As and Grid Twitter account actually did tweet out today that our settlement it is gonna expand. And what we can see in this picture, we are seeing a hammer and a rune. So pretty much we are getting a blacksmith for our runes. I'm not sure if we can just upgrade like from minor runes to major runes. Or can we actually make our own runes and modify them as we please. Let me know in the comments down below what you think what we can do with that new building and what we cannot do with the runes. Also, I would actually expect a pretty big update like last time, anywhere from 5 to 25 gigabytes. Also, on the PlayStation, we are seeing the new trophy list for the Tombs of the Fallen. We are only having one trophy, Heroes of the Ancient Britain, Silver Trophy, Ultra Rare at the moment, complete all Tombs of the Fallen, and you already might guess, we have two remaining tombs in England, and I don't think we are gonna see the three tombs slash Odin runes opening in Ireland. I really think this is only two tombs this time. What you think? Let me know that one in the comments down below as well. Also, we had this cliffhanger in the previous tombs. Sealed tight. No way to open this. But this time, we might be able to open this one after completing the two remaining tombs in England. And also, we collected last time three artifacts from the tombs. So I'm not sure, are we gonna use those ones in that secret chamber in this first tomb right across the Raven's Torp. Location for all of the tombs, aka the Odin runes, will be in the end screen in the pinned comment and in the description box down below. So if you want to pre-check every single location, that's your chance. But yeah, I really think we are solving this one for good. And I really think we are getting like a staircase or kind of like an elevator to the underground to unlock any secret that may lay beneath. Last time to unlock the dooms was a requirement of progressing through the main storyline to unlock the Ravenstorp aka your settlement. But this time I think additional thing for that one you need to complete four previous tombs. If you haven't you actually should be able to start this one 
in Ravensdorf or just approaching the tomb and when you are using your raven you should see a vortex like last time we had the tombs at the Oscarea festival and yes I believe that is gonna be back so next Tuesday it is the most likely day that we are gonna see this update most likely called the tidal update 1.6.1 including Oscarea festival, tombs of the fallen and the new settlement building Two days later, Thursday, we are gonna see the Oscarea festival, most likely. So next week, 27th of September 2022, and the Oscarea, 29th of September 2022. Back to the tombs, when you are getting closer, you are seeing the vortex. Just like in here, also the Odin runes, they are glowing. When you interact with them, boom, we are discovering the new tombs, and I really think it is gonna be two tombs from the England and of course the hidden chamber in the first tomb. These are just puzzles, cutscenes, rewards and no I'm not gonna show any spoilers in this one or any of the cutscenes but last time we did get the fallen hero armor set that is actually pretty OP. I have to say this, take everything with grain salt, we have no solid evidence that this update is coming next Tuesday but most likely it will be coming next Tuesday but still always take everything with grain of salt just in case also when we are having three artifacts two more tombs we already have the full fallen hero armor set I think this time it is weapons as a reward so perhaps shield some kind of melee weapon and perhaps even the bow but let's see let's see what is gonna happen also in the last tombs we had like 23 opals the opals they are not showing even with the opal map that is actually bought from the helix store and i am trying to make opal guide this time as well so stay tuned also hit the like because these videos are actually taking a lot of time to make and that will help me a lot so opal guide and much more coming in near future stay tuned for that one also i'm trying to live stream both of these updates the Oscarea and the Tombs of the Fallen part 2 and pretty much the Oscarea festival it will be copy pasted from the last year only the rewards will change quests, settings, everything will be exactly the same as last year I mean come on the Oscarea festival was one of the best looking festivals so far especially the battle meditation arena thing that was so much fun but before ending this video I really want to thank my channel members aka the Elite Wolfpack. You guys are really pushing the channel to the next level and if you want to support the channel consider joining. There are multiple different levels and depending on the level you are getting extra perks like custom emojis, early access to some of my videos and posts that are only for members. But for now stay cool and let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one, Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.